Today we're going to be doing a first look at this hex here. It's a F550 uh, APM based uh, hex. Um, I've uh, bought it uh, pretty much almost all built, but I did some modifications to it. Um, I've got the uh, 5.2 LiPo battery. Um, it's got Opto um, ESCs. Uh, it's it's pretty nice. Um, I also added uh, telemetry, if you can see that, this little uh, box here. And what that allows you to do is in Mission Planner, what it, which is the software that you use for uh, APM-based uh, 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 hexes or quads, you uh, do waypoints or you do setup. And this is really the telemet wireless telemetry is really nice for that because you don't have to have a USB uh, plugged in all the time. Uh, you can do it wirelessly. What I did also is on here. Right here, I put a CX20 um, receiver, um, and uh, this allows me to use um, uh, this uh, transmitter, which is pretty easy to set up in APM. So I, I highly recommend doing that if you don't have the like a first key. Uh, um, uh, radio or uh, I tried doing the Devo with another receiver but uh, it didn't work so alright and also I have this uh, DJI Phantom 3 standard uh, this I'm going to uh, do a review on in the future but uh, when I'm going to do that I'm trying a new setup today uh, I'm going to have this flying in the air over there uh, it's my eye in the sky and then over there if you can see it by the uh, soccer goal um, is another uh, camera so uh, this is gonna be a complex setup it's kind of an experiment to see if I can do it so that's what I'm gonna try and do all right we're gonna set up this uh, DJI Phantom right now um, yeah, turn it on, clicking once, and hold it. Now on my phone, I'm going to go to the DJI app. Go to uh, Phantom three I don't know if you guys can see this now I'm gonna put this on here got okay, go to Wi-Fi here connecting to the phantom you gotta do the Wi-Fi thing first and then you go to DJI go to camera Everything looks good. And go to uh, video and uh, we're gonna move this over here. Gonna start up the motors. actually going to start recording. A 
want to go up a little higher. Turn it around. I'm going to lower the gimbal, so I think it can go a little higher. And that looks pretty good. We're going to set that down. We're going to connect. I'm just hoping it stays there. And then I'm going to get my uh, connect the power here. Actually, yeah. Turn on the power. So we're waiting for this GPS to turn blue. There we go. It's flashing blue. I don't know if you can see it. All right. Now we're going to start it up. Now what I want to try first is doing a GPS hold. Gain altitude a little bit. Seems to do a good job, but I'm going to take it out of altitude hold and put it into manual. I need some circuits here. That flies pretty good. I'm not taking it too hard on here. Well, that's pretty nice. I'm happy that the GPS hole kind of works. I did a better live calibration on the compass. What I'm going to do also, since I did some circuits, I'm going to try and fly up no more close to the uh, other one.
Yeah, looks good. Now we're just going to come and get a better look at it. Doing GPS hold right now. Yeah, it's pretty good at holding the spot, you know, there's a lot of wind right now, but it's doing a good job. Very stable. I almost want to put a camera on it, but uh, I know that's better with the uh, DJI Phantom 3. Alright, I'll do like three or four more circuits. I think that's going to be the end of the video here. So I'm going to bring it down and try and land it and make sure it doesn't tip over. Which is kind of hard with this one. It always wants to tip over when it lands. Stop the motors. Alright, and that's the first look. I'll be doing more uh, videos on this. Um, just uh, I would like and subscribe and have a good day. Thank you. Bye.